actually lost the first quarter by 12, but then they outscored Paranaque by 17 in the second frame. Now, Coach Cholo would even admit to us that normally a third quarter pa sila bumabalik eh. So, kahit pa paano, uh, we met halfway, second quarter silang nakapag-storm back sa ating naro. So, they will take it. But then again, of course, they would, uh, you know, still go for great earlier starts here in this venue. And the way that they were able to come back in this game was through their defense. They forced a lot of turnovers in that second quarter. In fact, most of those 11 turnovers came in the second period and they amped up even their rim protection, having three blocks there in that first half, scoring a lot of their points inside despite a lot of attempts from the outside. Talaga bumawi sila sa loob in that second quarter to be able to turn the tide here and lead by five. Jay Delevergen just converted with the second three in this game out of six tries. Galliano is two out of ten, by the way. Kick out to Uduba. He almost traveled. It's Manalang who fakes now. Eight seconds. Razon closed out by Levy Hernandez. These last two minutes are brought to you by GameX. Jello Razon with an acrobatic layup. He was fouled. GameX Sports, the official online basketball ending partner of the MPBL. Basta ending GameX. He just keeps on throwing those oohs and ahs from the crowd. Talking about Jelo Razon. And that three-point shot by MJ De La Virgen. Big make para sa kanya to put more cushion on the lead here by Batangas City. It's two free throws for Jelo Razon. In his last two games, he scored 34 and 21 respectively. After not getting drafted in the PBA, he felt so much motivation. He's been in and out of this lineup of Paranaque. And now he has delivered in the second half. This free throw is brought to you by Extreme Appliances, ang subok at kompletong appliance brand ng Pilipinas. 71. Push comes to shove, you go to your money men. And for Batanga City, it has been Levy Hernandez this entire year. Look at that, baseline drive earlier, muffed the layup, but this time made sure, made that big vertical leap over the defense, got the shot to go, plus getting the foul. Hernandez has matched his season average of 14 points as the leading scorer of Batanga City in their campaign. He has averaged 16 and a half in their last two outings. Can he stay consistent? Conversion for Levy. Inside scoring 37-22. Paranaque down by six. Galliano met by Levy Hernandez. Josh still at it. Drive and feed, Jello Razon, there's a foul in the interior and that's going to be on, is it initially on Aduba? It was important, it went flying. You got to give credit to both teams, you know, even if there have been a lot of hits here and there. They're in the mix with Batangas, as seeds 3 to 8 in the South Division. Just separated by two games. There was the bump. I'm not quite sure about that. And I think that should have been a flop. There wasn't really an extension going dito by John Aduba. He just put up an arm bar. But there wasn't really enough force to really push King Importante out of the way. Portate will now inbound as he works with Donochea, MJ De La Virgen, Seda Blaza, and Levy Hernandez. 
Under 90 seconds remaining. Important. for Batanga City. De La Virgen trying to shake off Manalam. Three seconds. Step back. MJ bombs away. My goodness. You saw the guts. You saw the confidence in his eyes. Coach Jair Aquino and Coach Solo Villanueva were, with, were signaling to set the plaza, to set the screen, but De La Virgen was so confident in his ability to break down one of the best defenders in the point guard position in this league. And Philip Manalang took him one-on-one -on -one and scored a three on him. Shea and the rest of the red shirts are looking good. Now we present to you our fast break of the game brought to you by Sports Max, powered by Play Max, the official online entertainment partner of the MPBL win to the Max. This happened earlier. For Paranaque, two points for Keith Pido, but now they're down by eight. A minute and three seconds to go. Razon, quick fire three, no good. John Umali is now in the game for the first time, but he wasn't able to save that ball. Well, quite surprising that Umali has only entered the game here at this point of the match. He could have been a contributor for Paranaque in this game. But Coach Mike Sagigit now hoping that he could get some buckets in a hurry here. He is known for his three-point shooting after all, but now Omali sits down. They need better defense on the floor. MJ De La Virgen is back, by the way, having replaced Jexter Apinan. There's a push at the baseline, and that's free throws. I'd love to see that one again. Tight double on that baseline. MJ De La Virgen just hit a big time top of the key. Two-pointer apparently as he stepped on the white line. Now he just converted on a free throw. De La Virgen is up to nine points. Let's see that previous foul. Oh, couldn't really see from that angle. Manalang was on the other side. At sa kanya, itinawag yung personal na yun eh. Jello Razon, blocked by Ochea. That's number five for Don. How about his defense tonight? He's scoreless, but it's not a problem. Batanga City is on the verge on getting home win number six in their campaign. MJ De La Virgen still at it. That's gonna be a layup. Philip Manalang, able to make a three-pointer off the glass. That's a guy who never gives up. But they're down by nine with 16 seconds to go. That seems to be it. Still a foul by Philip. So Ochea will be shooting free throws. He could score his first points. You know that guy behind us has a good point. Yeah, <laughs> actually, I'm, I'm trying to think about it right now. By the way, if you didn't hear it, the guy said, si Oche is the best player and the block. And that is just a testament to the love of these Batangueños. They are truly appreciate the game. It's not just about scoring for them. They have certainly enjoyed the roller coaster here on their home floor. Ochea converts. We will have to pray for a miracle here. They will start with a three-pointer. John Umali, in and out. Offensive rebound. And that's it. Oh, Lunor and Arim could not control the ball. They do have BJ Alarcon also in the game for the first time. Baseline inbound for Jello Razon. Manalang continuing to go at it. That's another three for him. And so our final score will read 80 to 73 as it should. Or maybe 72. Our referees will confirm as to whether or not it's a three. 
But congratulations to Batanga City for defending their home floor. It's like signature fashion for them already, starting slow. But at least they were able to get back in the second quarter. It was a nice second half for us, a back and forth between these two squads. Ultimately, they were able to pull away. And they certainly delivered their brand of basketball dito sa laro na to. It was all about defense for them at the start to be able to get back in the game. And you know, I'm witnessing great sportsmanship here between these two squads. A lot of great players to name here in this game with outstanding performances. But ultimately, we had to pick Cedric Ablaza across the board. He was the most impressive para dito sa Tandoiro Masters. Cedric Ablaza, our best player of the game, is brought to you by Daily Fantasy. Dito sa Daily Fantasy, hawak mo. Ang daro. Again, he's the silent killer for Batangas City Ablaza. Thank you, Mix. Our daily fantasy best player of this game. Walang iba kung DC said Ablaza. First of all, congratulations, said This is actually your sixth double double performance in this game. And doon ka both offensively and defensively. Pero kung titing na natin tong larong to, depensa talaga ang nagpapanalo sa Batangas. Ah, uh, sure. Ah, uh, yung sistema namin, yung sinusunod namin, lalo na yung pagbabalik ni Coach Cholo. Uh, yung defense namin yung number one namin pang laban syempre so outwork yung mga kalaban namin na team and said this was an up and down game para sa team ninyo indeed it was a game of adjustments para sa parehong kupunan ano ba yung mga malalaking adjustments na ginawa ninyo na talagang malaki yung epekto sa laro uh, unang una uh, syempre eh, inano namin yung kalaban na uh, playoff team din papasok to ng playoff eh. so parang inano namin na uh, yung game na to is playoff games na so kaya yung yung ginawa namin sistema sa defense namin talagang dadalhin namin hanggang playoffs na yun. And that mindset led to this win. Meron ka bang gustong batiin o oh, pasalamatan sir? Uh, una una uh, thank you kay Lord sa binigyan niya panalo at sa mga taga Batangas, kay Kong Marby at kay Mayora Beverly at sa management sa Tanduay, uh, sa asawa ko si Pearl Badolato at Anak ko si Bella, si Kayden, mga magulang ko, mga kapatid ko sa Bulacan, uh, Boss Robert, uh, Boss Big Boy, uh, mga kaibigan ko sa Cebu, sila Ma'am Carmela at Boss Nino, uh, JBBI Family, Boss Idol, bo Boss Ako, uh, Chasel De La Cruz, at uh, happy birthday kay Pat Santiago. Alright, once again, that is said, Ablasa, our best player of the game, brought to us by Daily Fantasy. Dito sa Daily Fantasy, hawak mo ang laro. Back to you, Mix and Happy. Thank you. Tomorrow, Thursday, in Pasay City. But tonight, we thank you for joining us in Batangas. For Andrea Indicio and Javi Palanya, my name is Mix Gomez. At ito po ang Mahardika Pilipinas Basketball League, ang Liga ng Bawat Pilipino.